Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli and FSD, and today I've been following some uh, Tesla group, it was also an electric, that some idiots, absolutely certified idiots, decided to use wet towel or wet blanket to put on the charging uh, cables uh, in, the, in Tesla superchargers to trick them, literally to trick the cable that the temperature is lower than what it is and therefore to increase the speed. Let me explain. When you go to a supercharger, let's say you're doing all the right things. You precondition the car by using the navigation. You're coming low, let's say 10, 15, 20%. And once you plug the, the, the car to, to, to supercharge, let's say if you are in a level two uh, supercharger, I'm sorry, level three supercharger, 250 kilowatt, you will get 250 kilowatt the first few minutes and then it's going to taper down taper down taper down until it gets back to 50 or 40 sometimes depends how much uh, charge do you need now in the summertime when it's really really hot the cable the the charging cable gets very hot and therefore the current that goes through the cable goes down by design so the cable doesn't burn and and get overheat or something bad happen so some people thought it would be a good idea to put a wet towel on it so tesla unequivocally said this is a dangerous thing don't do it if you do it stop and if you don't don't try it why because you don't put cloth on a 250 kilowatt cable or 150 kilowatt cable it's like a lightning bolt you don't want to do that so what let me just tell you because i travel hundreds and thousands of miles a year on my three teslas and i supercharge all the time on my long trip it doesn't matter what you do really doesn't matter you may get a bump a little bit because you trick the system what happened is once you get there and you did all the right thing it's going to give you big um, uh, a boost at the beginning and then it's going to taper down and you'll be there for 15 to 30 minutes depend how much a uh, charge do you need 50 percent 80 percent if you're going to 100 percent then you're going to wait 45 minutes or an hour depending how how full you are the reason is that the electrons okay you start you start charging the electrons have a lot of empty space like an empty parking lot you come you park in the front now, as the parking lot fills up and you want to park to go shopping, then you have to go and find your parking spot and wait for somebody to leave so you can get in. So it takes a long time. Same thing. So the battery is empty or 20% full. And you go in and uh, easy at the beginning, no problem finding spots. As it fills up, then there's less spots for the um, for the electrons to, to to lend themselves, and so they're waiting and waiting. Also, think about here. This I brought I brought this. Part. Think about the glass. Okay, if I turn the tap and fill it in, no problem. It would fill in. Once it gets towards the towards the the end, I'm going to slow down the flow so it doesn't overflow. Okay, it's like a drinking from a fire hose. Okay, it's not, you're not going to do well at, for a long time. So that's basically the idea. So also the cables are designed not to overheat so they don't that something bad happen so they taper and they and they monitor the the, the current now after i said that in in the united states and in europe there are four different tesla superchargers level one 70 kilowatt level two 150 level level three 250 and level four which mostly in europe few in the united states are 350 okay now the level three and level four have built-in cooling system to the for the cable okay definitely level four okay level one and level two not so much so uh, there is a, a, a mechanism to slow down the current so the cable doesn't overheat it's like it's like when you when you charge your phone on the on the docket in your car okay or in your or in your uh, regular charger it, it it's hot at the end you touch it it's hot it gets hot so it it takes it takes its time so it doesn't overheat and explode okay lithium ion and all that it can set itself on fire so what i'm saying is this give you an example i like i said i travel all over and i charge the car my where i live there's a lot of snow uh sometime in the snow okay in the snow it still doesn't matter it's freezing cold outside you're going to start with 250 or 150 depends and you're going to go down quickly it doesn't matter how how a, a, a hot or cold it is it just that's what it does so if you're going to trick it with a wet towel you may get a boost for a couple minutes but that's it but it's really dangerous and it's really stupid whoever then there's like a debate there's no debate don't do it it's a bad idea all right thank you guys for watching
and I'll see you in my next video.